Memorize the Bible. I'm going to give you three quick things about Bible memory, some practical things about memorizing the Bible that I want you to write down. Practical things about the Bible. Number one, go ahead and put number one there on your paper. Number one. I want you to write this. You can memorize. You can memorize. Memorizing the Bible is something you can do. You can. You absolutely can. You say, oh, good, I'm special. No, you're not special, neither am I. God told you to, and he will help you obey if your heart is in it. You can memorize the Bible. Number two, here's how you memorize the Bible. This is that line from old brother Jimmy. Uh, I'm sorry, old brother Roger, Lemons. I thought his name was Lemons, like the fruit, the first time I met him, Lemons. It took a long time to find out there was a D in there. I don't know if you care, but that was... <laughs> here's how you memorize the Bible. Say, I'm bad at memory. You can learn one word at a time. And then you learn the next word. You say, oh, I forgot the first word. Well, go back and review it, and then review those two words together. And then you learn another one, and then you do all three of them together. You learn another one, and you do all four of them together. One word at a time. You can memorize the Bible. Three. The key to memorizing the Bible. One word at a time. Here's the key right here. I can tell you from experience, I can tell you from what we learned in studying last week, the key to memorizing the Bible is review. Review, 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 review. I put it three times and I put it with exclamation points. Review, review, review. If you do not review the verses you have memorized, you will forget them. I want you to notice, in a lot of the verses that we saw, it said, forget not. That means you knew it at one point, and then you forgot it. So the command is not just to learn the verses, it's then, after you learn them, to keep them. To keep them. Because, listen, nobody is fighting harder anywhere in the world than the devil is to get you to forget the Bible. The devil is fighting. Your flesh is fighting to get the words of Scripture and rip them out of your heart. He's trying hard. He does it to me every day. At, at this time, 2019, what is that, three years ago, I could word perfect quote you the longest chapter in the Bible, Psalm 119. I can't do it today. You know why? Because I failed to review, review, review. I let it slip, and now I've only got a small portion of it. If you don't review, you will forget what you got. You've got to review. Memorizing the Bible, the key is review. So let me show you what that looks like. If I want to memorize a verse in the Bible, like Ecclesiastes 5, verse 1, it says, Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. So you know what I'm going to do? If I'm trying to memorize this Bible and it's, whatever, 5.30 in the morning, I'm going to be sitting there with a little lamp on, and a pen and a piece of paper. And here's what I'm going to do. It says, keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. Here's what I'm going to do. Keep thy foot. I'm going to write it out. Then I'm going to go, keep thy foot. Keep thy foot. Keep thy foot. I'm going to do it five times. Here's how I memorize. Keep thy foot. 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 Okay. I think, I've, I think I have that phrase down. I remember, keep thy foot. Okay, Lord, I've still got it. Good. <laughs> Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. Well, that's long. I'm going to break it down a little smaller. When thou goest. All right. When thou goest. When thou goest. When thou goest. When thou goest. All right. I've got that five times. What was that first part? Keep thy foot when thou goest. Three or four times I'm going to go. Keep thy foot when thou goest. Keep thy foot when thou goest. You say, Daniel, that's boring. 
No, 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 no. That is sweet fellowship with Jesus Christ. I'm repeating his words over and over and over, and I'm searing them into my heart. And I'm not just seeing them, I'm saying them, and I'm writing them, and I'm hearing them, and I'm seeing them. Keep thy foot when thou goest into the house of God, goest to the house of God. I'm going to repeat that process over and over until I've gotten to the end of the verse, and I can say that verse word perfect. Now, great. Awesome. Then I'll write down in my little journal, Ecclesiastes 5, verse 1. I've got it. Tomorrow, I'll try Ecclesiastes 5, 2, or maybe tonight. Before I memorize the next time, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to Ecclesiastes 5, 1 and keep it. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. I'm going to get it again. You know why? Because review is the key. Everything on this planet is trying to get me to forget the words that I've memorized. And listen here. When you decide to step into battle, you start taking shots. You start receiving fire from the enemy. When you decide to start memorizing the Bible, you will get spiritual attacks like you've never seen before. Brother Matthew and I were just talking about this Sunday. When you decide you're going to serve the Lord, he's going to attack you, isn't he, brother? Happened to me, happened to you, happened to anybody in here who ever decided to get serious and serve God and do what he wants. The devil comes for you like a freight train. And you know what God says? All right, devil, go ahead. Just like he did with Job. He's going to try you to see if you're the real deal. Memorizing the Bible will open a floodgate of uh, Satan's attacks. I guarantee it. So when you memorize the Bible, remember, you can. Don't have the attitude. If you walk into it with the attitude, well, I'm just no good at memorizing. I can't do this. How many verses do you think you're going to memorize with that attitude? No. Go in believing God and trusting. Ask him for help, obviously. Ask him to open your eyes that you may behold wondrous things out of his law. Do it one word at a time. One little word at a time. One little phrase, one little word. It'll help you. And then after you've memorized, you've got to review. You've got to review. And we'll go over another time how to actually set up a system that'll help you remember. Because imagine, Psalm 119 um, is 176 verses long. It took me about 15 minutes to say it out loud. That means for 15 minutes, I'm just spitting out verses. 15 minutes. I don't have that kind of time to review that every single day, all day, if I'm also working on memorizing Romans and other verses all throughout the Bible. It takes a lot of time. Once you've memorized three hours worth of scripture, we can't all have three hours in the morning. So you've got to break down a system to review everything so you don't forget the things that you've got. We'll, we'll learn that later. Does anybody have any questions? I really want to open up right here. Does anybody have any questions about memorizing the Bible? I do. Go for it. When it goes for memorizing verses in the Bible, how do you pick out the certain ones that you want to memorize? Because I know I know every everything in this book is good. Yeah. But like, where do I go to like get my ammunition to fight the Bible for verses that I need to memorize? Yeah. First, you got to memorize Leviticus 14. <laughs> Let's start off with. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. here's what I'd do. Jude 17 says, "Remember ye the words uh, which were spoken by the apostles." We're who's our apostle? Paul. If I'm you, I'm probably going to start with Paul. I'm probably going to start in Romans 1 or 1 Thessalonians, a small one. You could pick Philemon, set, make it a goal. I'm going to memorize a whole book of the Bible. I'll memorize Philemon. It's about one page. I would start with Paul. Probably Romans, because that's the introductory book. The problem with Romans is it's 16 chapters long, very long, way longer than Psalm 119. And uh, you'll get discouraged if you don't memorize a lot right away. So maybe start with the book of Philemon. It wouldn't hurt maybe to start with the book of Jude. It's pretty short. But uh, I have a list. I call it my to learn list. A list of verses that I've read that I go, I really need to memorize that. And I'll, I'll mark those down too. But usually I'll go start, I'm in Romans right now, so. No, 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 I've been going through it pretty steadily today. Most of what I read is, is um, you know, like my history of people and, you know, them traveling, going here, the king said this, and building this, and stuff like that. I know he wants us to memorize all that for like, like key verses. You said something about ammunition. Think about what you, what battle you may be in, or, or what position you may be in. If somebody, 
is right there and, and you need to lead somebody to God, memorize, memorize around those verses. Get those verses down, and that way if you happen to not have your, your Bible with you, whatever, you've got them right here, and you can get those things out. You stick that thing in. And uh, those, those right there, would, I mean, and that's right there in Romans as well. So, yeah. I mean, you, you mentioned ammunition, so that's yes. why. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, yeah, that, that's more or less what it all is for about me. If somebody comes up to me and asks me about God, you know, I mean, I can flip through there and find them. You know, I, I think I have the capability of doing that now. You know, that's better than what I was before, but, you know, like, it's coming off the top of my head, you know. Yeah. yeah. I'm still working on that. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And not just for soul winning. Yeah. Go for the things that you're struggling with, the things that you doubt about. Yeah. Go for, yeah. so a young man, let's be honest, ask any young man in the world, what's he dealing with? Lust, number one, just about everybody. So what does a young man probably need to memorize? About as many verses as he can get his hands on to help him out with lust. I have made a covenant with mine eyes. Why then should I think on a maid? Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Every time a little thought of lust, lust pops into your head, quote some verses about lust. You can't imagine how fast those thoughts will bust out of your brain and out of your heart. If you're having doubt about the money situation in your household, which I guarantee you everybody in here has dealt with that before, you've worried about money. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Ask pastor, ask me, look up a list of verses that are about uh, having faith and not doubting. Things like that. Memorize verses that you're going through. They'll help. Or verses about soul winning. Or <coughs> verses uh, to, to give somebody about Jesus Christ and how to be saved. Good question. Does that answer it? Good. Thank you, Pastor. Anything else? Any questions about memorizing the Bible? <clears throat> it is good to go random verses that ha are on the same subject. We call that topical memorizing, like memorizing on the topic of uh, soul winning or memorizing on the topic of lust or lying. Also, I believe the most important way to memorize is to memorize according to the form of the Bible and to memorize big chunks, chapters, verses, books. Try to memorize, you know, Psalm 119 all together. That's a big goal. Uh, maybe try Romans chapter 1 or the book of Philemon or six verses from Paul's epistles all right in a row. No other questions? Then uh, we'll take a break. Be back in about five minutes.